Hey guys, this is Brandon Bowling with Bluegrass Waterfowlers. We're in Indiana still, part two. We're with Greg and Brianna today, and we are going to be hunting the Grand Kankakee, the big gank, and we are in a nice little ravine. Uh, got a nice setup. It's a cold, cold morning. Uh, about 17, 18 degrees, wind chills in the negatives, and there was a ton of action. You guys don't want to miss this. It's all right. No need to call for him. Somebody behind us did. Just they're calling if those birds do something wrong, and them birds are a mile high. They ain't coming down until they get where they want to go. Bunch of ducks. Forward to the right. This pack right here is going to do it. Where'd they go? They're coming over here to the right. Here, straight out front. Straight out front. Oh shit, there's a whole bunch. Dude, those are all white colored ducks. White bellied ducks. They might be pintails. They're still coming. And there's a solo up front. There's a big group behind it and more. I'm going to give them a little raspy. <laughs> it's a five pack. Six pack. No. Oh, there's another line of them right behind it. Holy shit. That was probably 500 birds right there. Now if this water would have been busted open and we would have had a little bit more sun and those would have come we would have had some they would have been diving in. <laughs> The first bunch we seen with all the ducks we seen yesterday. Whoa, where'd they all go? They're going to feed. We're going to catch them on the way back from feeding, I guarantee it. Oh, still cold. I think it's a little cold, fellas. <laughs> Tell me about it. I think my nose is the fucking coldest. My nose hurts. I got this hand warmer that's stabbing me in the neck. I know it ain't helping none that this tripod's solid like aluminum and it's freezing. <laughs> I'll be glad once this thing warms up a little bit. Get back up here. I can't say shit. Very local over there. Dude, a lot of these birds are coming back. Holy fuck. They don't know where they want to be. They're all fucking sky high now. They're literally they're straight out right here flying left to right. Back towards the corn.
not a bad thing because it's cold Monday and Tuesday and we ain't gonna get warm because there's gonna be no sun. Holy cow, that was a bunch. Mm-hmm. We're still cackling. Uh-huh. Ta-da! <laughs> Do you only want Oh yeah, those are cranes. Look at them cupped up. Their wings aren't even moving. It's like a freaking video game. Yeah, those are big <laughs> glider birds. It's crazy they ain't make any fucking sound. They, Motherfuckers are loud. They Usually did. they sound like dinosaurs. <laughs> they're, they're still keep coming. Yeah. They're jumping up a the <laughs> We just need a couple to come along to give us a... There's a there's a lonesome dark colored duck. Here's some more. Oh, they're, good. they're still coming. Uh, I think this right here is the last one. Jeez, Louise, look at all. Oh. Now the ones in the back are brown belly. Do you see them? Yeah. Now the ones that's been in the front, them have to all be about pintails. Could be. Hey guys, Brandon Bowling here from Bluegrass Waterfowlers. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up for all of my Kentucky followers. If you guys haven't heard of this taxidermy right here, Gary uh, Lizer, Lizer's taxidermy, you guys need to check him out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a walkthrough of my birds that he has physically done for me uh, since last year. And I'm gonna do those because I've gotten quite a few of them back. I think I only have two left that haven't been come back yet. I'm gonna show them to you, and then I'm gonna leave his details and hopefully he can help preserve your guys' trophy memories. Stay tuned. He did this amazing American coot for me that's running on water pedestal. He did my first ever ring neck pheasant. Amazing quality. He did my eclipse phase drake wood duck on the water swimming with cattails. He also did my banded mallard. And lastly but not least, my big Canada from Kentucky. Done great work, detail on the feet. Top notch. Those are 
Great job for a great price. Awesome taxidermist. If you guys are looking to get your trophies mounted, be sure to give Gary a call at Lizer's Taxidermy. I'll drop his stuff in the description now. And don't forget, for all your needs with taxidermy, give Gary a call. All right, guys, now that you guys have seen what we've seen this morning, now we're going to take you out to the Grand uh, Kankakee Reservoir and let you guys check out the refuge and all the refuge birds and all the different species and types of different ducks, swans, geese, everything. You don't want to miss it. snows There's a bunch of ducks back there too. There's ducks back there. And a bunch tucked up here against the red grass on the left. Big swans. bellies. Yeah, those are definitely specks. You hear them? Full black body and their their necks white. It seems like it's always a hit or miss whether there's rosses in a given winter. So, I mean, I but they are very hard to pick out. When they're in like this. Yeah. I almost think there's. So, just a head, uh, reference. Rosses is kind of like the cackler of Canada. So if you see the one that's like.
Yeah, we've seen a lot of them this morning. Yeah, I'm up here from Kentucky, and we don't see none of them down home. warmer weather so as soon as it starts getting cold they take off mm -hmm. if you if you get blueing up here when it's below 50 degrees it's very like it's a late bird mm -hmm. the green wingers will stick around a lot longer They're so pretty, they got like an orange color on their sides, yeah. the drakes. And they got that real nice green on their bill with a real bright orange curve. Yeah, it's like a bright orange bill, isn't it? Will you be able to pull some like really good pictures from us? It depends on how good the quality is. And there's a big drake right there in the front, see? Yeah. When, when he turns sideways. Okay then. It's going to make a big old mess in the house. Let me see it. 